You know, it absolutely drives me crazy. What that, does? <laughs> that I can think of something I want to say. And I'll say, oh, I want to say it. What does? Yes. And then I forget it within 10 seconds. This is Jill for today. Hey. And this is our signature glass of wine. We're drinking, what are we drinking? Well, it, it looks like a sparkling rosé. It's really kombucha because it's too early in the day to start drinking. You, you, Although, mm, oh, it's let's 5 o'clock started. somewhere. Yeah. Now, believe it or not, we have a list. And we have been MIA for a month. Mm-hmm. We did a New Year's Eve or New Year's Day uh, video. And I haven't cooked all month. We didn't do any videos this month. The camera was put away in the bedroom. Not that, but I, we just said we need a break. So here we are. Somebody said we need a break. Well, anyway, do, is our microphone close enough? There we go. Is our microphone on? Yeah, yeah. our microphone is okay. on. I turned it on. So how are you? Old. <laughs> no, I'm fine. Uh-huh. I'm doing good. Good. I'm cold. Oh, I said something. Yeah. In fact, we have layers on. I have this sweatshirt, and then I have a, a little uh, thermal thing underneath, and I've got my jeans on, and then I have thermal underwear on top of that. I'm not quite as layered as that. But, uh, anyway, what's on your list for this mm. today? Well, why don't we start off? Uh, first of all, <laughs> they're doing construction next door. Yeah. Well, they're doing construction on both sides of us. We have the uh, water company that's installing a new uh, water filtration plant to our uh, south. And over here, we have a new homeowner who's evidently installing new flooring. So, Anyway, he said it sounded like a whale. It, it kind of does. Sounds like a whale call. So, so if you hear anything, that's what that's what it is. Okay, well, let's do start with the heating. Okay, yeah. Now we have, to, we have to kind of recap because we had talked about previously. So you, yeah. You're on. We haven't had adequate heating since September, and it's been unseasonably cold for us. So finally, we got new heaters sent to us out of Canada, which is where the manufacturer is. Took forever. And then when those heaters didn't work, uh, we contact the manufacturer, heard nothing from them. Mm-hmm. Um, so absolutely nothing. They kind of washed their hands with us. They said, okay, we'll send you brand new heaters in the box, never been used. They finally did that. We got the new heaters, but the heater, but they said the heaters won't work unless you have our thermostat. So we tried to get a thermostat. We ordered it from several places. Nobody had it. So finally, I found another representative for this company, Ulet in Canada. Oh, God, you use their name. I do, because I don't have a lot of good things to say about it. No, we really don't. Anyway, so a representative said, well, I'm going to send you one. Now, can I just interject something here? Yeah. Don't forget where you're at. When they decided to send us a new set of heaters, he said... Well, he emailed it. That's it. We're, we're giving you these. We don't want to hear another word from you. I don't care if they burn your house down. We don't want to know. And they kept their word because they never responded to anything I wrote back yeah. to. Okay, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Anyway, so we found a new representative in Texas. He said, I'm going to send you one. It was shipped out on the 10th of January. It never came. It never came. So I wrote him again. He said, it's shipping. Not it's shipped. It's shipping. So we wait and we wait. And finally, this week? Yeah. Yeah, this week, the thermostat arrived. I think By that time, we'd had it with this company, even though these were the same heaters that we've had in this place for 20 years and worked fine. These new ones, they made upgrades to it, and it's not. it was not a good thing. So we decided, the heck with that. We're going to go with the local company who did the installation. They sell a different brand of heaters, and they're going to come next week and install new heaters. So we've frozen most of this winter. We've had weather down in the 20s, occasionally dipping into the teens, I think. But we've been basically cold. The heaters are running. You know, they're working, but they are very inefficient, and they're kind of limping along. And there's a tremendous delay between the time you turn up the thermostat and the time anything happens. So... 
We are getting new heaters. Uh, come, uh, next week, we're going to yeah. get new heaters. And as long as we're on the heating subject, yeah. our power company here. Oh, that was it. I think that's what I wanted to write down. Portland General Electric, every once in a while, they'll send us uh, texts and emails saying, we're going to have a saver event. What we want you to do is cut back on your uh, power usage and we will cut your bill by whatever you reduce your power. So we had one of these saver events and they always pick the coldest day of the year to have these saver events. Well, they want to take, they want to bring down the grid. Yeah. So we've had three of them now. One we saved like, well, one, the first one was not bad. Mm -hmm. We saved like $4 mm -hmm, or something. Mm -hmm. Second one, we didn't save anything. Uh, last week, we saved 71 cents. We froze our asses off for 71 cents. And they had one last night or the night before. Mm -hmm. We saved a dollar and one cent. And again, we were cold. Yeah. So. It was very nice. Of them. And I understand they want to kind of bring down the, the uh, pressure wanna, on their energy. And they want to save that electricity for their executives so they can heat their home up so everybody can be nice and toasty. Do you know we're crooked? Does that look crooked to you? Our entire government looks crooked to me, but... Oh. Not that way, this way. Do I we look... Okay, no, it doesn't it's matter, not that whatever. Bad. Okay. Live with it. Heating's done. Water. We had lots of issues here that... You get yourself a glass of whatever. It's yeah. a long one. Okay, so water. So Long and dull. In the wall of our garage, we've had this kind of funny thing. Unfortunately, it was behind the fuse box, but it would, it, it just there would be some spillage on the floor of water. Right, it leak out at the base of the uh, plasterboard, Dry, drywall, whatever it is. Yeah, on both sides of the. And it would dry piece where the next the, day. Uh, fuse box was. And then a week or two later, there'd be that darn water again. And so the management group for our condominium said they would have somebody come over. Right. That never happened. What is it with service people? I don't know. So don't know. Um, finally, uh, they said they would get some one over. So nobody the, came. So nobody came and nobody came and nobody came. So this week, Randy goes out to the garage. It's flooded. <laughs> it's, it's coming down out of the uh, garage door opener. It's, it's, it's oh leaking where gosh. it was, down on the floor, uh, beneath the fuse box. That's still very prolific leak. But also, I'm sitting in the car trying to install something, <laughs> and I hear blip, 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 blip. And I get out of the car, and I look up, and the electric plug where you uh, plug in the garage door opener the water is just dripping down from that. So now we have it behind the fuse box and coming through. The and I keep saying, don't walk in the oh. water. Don't walk in the water because there's all this electricity. So anyway, the water. I, I called the management company. I get a voicemail, of course, and I explain, we have an urgent situation here. We need both a plumber and an electrician out here. Well, that got their attention because they sent a contractor out, a plumber out, an electrician out uh, and they uh, cut a big hole in our ceiling the guy the plumber found a broken pipe PVC which, very odd yeah which he uh, said probably came from this next door unit where they uh, they just sold the unit and uh, new people are moving in and anyway he repaired it um, I had gone next door to talk to people, see if they were using a lot of water. And they were gone, but the cleaner was there and she was running water in tubs and basins to clean things up. So that's probably the source of our uh, of our leak. Uh, the problem is when they uh, opened up the ceiling, the very thick pink insulation was just drenched, worse than a sponge. And what had happened, according to the plumber and the electrician, is the water uh, from the busted pipe ran across the top of the garage and came out through that plug where you plug in the garage door. So imagine that that insulation and the, the plasterboard is just drenched. So I contact the management company again about what they're going to do about 
either checking that out, drying it out, whatever, still waiting to hear. What is it with people? I don't know. Whatever. Don't okay. Know. It doesn't affect them, so. So, okay, so we're clicking. Okay, so he, he meant, could, he briefly mentioned that they are, the construction is really picking up out there. And yesterday the vibration was so bad. We have a grandfather clock with the hanging things, you know. It actually bang because of vibration. Now, what was very nice before they started this project, they gave you an option, and we certainly took it. Is they had someone come through and absolutely inspect every nook and cranny, corner, drywall, everything, to ensure that if we had photographs, the whole bit, if we had a crack, we said, "Oh my gosh, there's a," they. they they, they do it for their protection, sure. not for ours. They Look, just want to make sure people aren't claiming uh, vibration damage that pre-existed there. But I think it was yeah. very nice of them to offer that service. Yeah. Because remember when they put in the light rail, people had all kinds of stuff going on up there. Yeah, and, and they did the same thing. Uh, the uh, transportation company here, TriMet, went through every home and inspected along the entire oh, route of their long, light rail long. expansion to make sure that, you know, they didn't cause any damage. So anyway, these guys out here, we've had dump trucks nonstop bringing in loads of gravel and then these big construction uh, uh, machines moving that gravel over, building up the roadway, and then they take that bucket and they pound on that gravel and tamp it down and the whole house shakes. It does when they do that. But I, so. they won't, you know, I've gotten to the point where they don't talk to me. I tell, I say to him, they don't know what they're doing out there. I, they won't talk to me about it. I need to go out there and tell them how to take care of this mess because they're, they're not the supposed to talk to her, but she wants it. She wants to be in charge. I do. I I am in What's going on? Go oh. Nothing. I oh. just need a Kleenex. Thing. Okay. All right. So we're moving on here. You know, we love our beer and wine. We do. I mean, especially me. So I was why I Some had, loves it more than others. That's but. the truth. So I have a, a lovely girlfriend in Australia, and she sent me a video of Jamie Oliver. It's a YouTube video. Actually, the recipe is awesome. Vegan recipe. So he's going through this vegan... God almighty. He's going through this vegan... As you well know, we are vegan, plant-based, whole foods. And I'm a plant myself, so he's going through this recipe, and at one part of the recipe, he's going to add wine, you know, a little splash of wine. How you do? And he says, "Now this is a vegan recipe. However, you might want to check your wine because a lot of it isn't vegan because of egg they use." The uh, so I said, "Oh, mg!" So I looked it up. Beer, uh, wine especially, but beer sometimes too. They go through a process called fining. F-I-N-I-N-G. And they'll use A, they'll oh use cassian from milk, yeah. uh, they'll use gelatin. From bones. And they use fish bladders. Fish bladders. So a lot of what you might think is vegan wine or beer oh God. is not. What was that website you told me about? Uh, bar Stop or Bar something? I'll put a link to it down yeah. below. Bar Something barn. I'll put a link down there. Anyway, there is a website where you can actually go in and either enter whatever product you're using, alcohol product, and it will tell you whether it's vegan or not. And Or they also have lists of the beers and wines and hard liquors that are vegan. Because we thought we were strict vegan, you know, for the past 13 months, but... It ain't necessarily so. That was a heartbreaker. Yeah. Okay, so we got that. I've got a list here, you know. I'm going down the list. Okay, a little health update, COVID update. Um, actually, my health is uh, really good for the condition that I'm in. As a lot of you know, I have multiple myeloma, which is a bone marrow slash blood cancer. And I am still on chemotherapy. I had a blood. And will be through the end of September. I had a stem cell transplant. It'll be two years this coming May. So I'm on continuing chemotherapy. Anyway. Holy, uh, do they use eggs? <laughs> so I got it. Don't say that. So um, we still are very restricted 
in in what we do we, we're not getting out we're not seeing people nobody's coming into our home i mean we're like little monks if we do go out we wear a mask because she is still very immunocompromised she hasn't even had all her uh, you know inoculations and vaccines from way back in childhood a baby babyhood yes well so we're not doing anything and his family has had covid I, I, my sister, my brother-in-law, yes, and two of our niece and nephew families, all all got COVID. And it's just awful. Now. Yeah, that they're, they're trying to, you know, they're trying to live their life, and it's very difficult. And they've got, of course, grandchildren, and the grandchildren are out, so it's very difficult. And we understand the difficulty. And we just hope that, you know, we can just sort of get everybody. Oh, what is that? Oh, and a lot of people may get COVID and they feel ill, they feel fluish or something, or they get yeah. Paxlovid and it's not too bad. But for Jill to get COVID would not be the same mm -hmm. with as immunocompromised as she is. So we're real careful. We're not this. We're coming up. Oh, this is three years now. Oh, where, that I've been in yeah, chemotherapy. Yeah, we're basically oh, oh, isolated. Oh, yes. Yeah. Three, years, three this, years. Three years this month. Well, we're early. That's why we drink a lot. <laughs> but anyway, my health is a little health update. On my, then they do blood. Oh my gosh, they do blood work on me regularly, and all my blood work is just looking so fine. Oh yeah. So good. I mean, she's like a rock star yeah. with regard to blood work. So. And so the doctor is so so happy, and so are we that you know it's it's stay not only is it staying level, but that it's really the health of my blood is increasing. So it's very exciting. And I really have only two problems uh -huh. with her current state of health. Yeah. One is she eats nothing. Oh, shush. Absolutely Peanut nothing. butter. I eat a lot of peanut butter. Yeah, sometimes you eat peanut butter, but a lot of times she <sighs> just doesn't eat. Not breakfast, not lunch. Um, the other night she fixed a beautiful dinner. It was good. She ate like two bites and that was it i'm not well, hungry anymore it was half the dinner and the other thing is she'll fall asleep between oh, yeah. six and seven she just doesn't have any stamina yeah so but that's okay it's coming yeah. along all right um okay so uh he's right i ha you know i haven't i haven't done a lot of cooking or and i but what we've been doing and it's been so nice because of the way i feel in the evenings he and I will get in that kitchen and we do some power cooking and we'll make some entrees and we I've got these fabulous containers and I will leave a link for them because these things microwave them, freeze them and they just hold up and they've got a great seal and they're they And they're big them. enough to put a nice meal for us, for, actually yeah. a nice meal for two. So um, we've done stuffed peppers, we've done uh, ravioli, we've done... You were going to do a video on that. I will do chill it. For a day. Yeah, I'm going to. Uh, lentil patties and mashed potatoes. We always have the entree and a vegetable. So we can bring that out, we can microwave it, and we have a beautiful dinner. And it has been so nice to have that going on. The other thing, and we're gonna, I made peanut butter cookies here not too long ago, and I put a dozen, cooked a dozen of them. And I still have all this peanut butter dough. I said, I don't wanna bake all these cookies. So I broke it down into containers, little freezer containers, and I froze it. And I brought out some the other day, and you could not tell that that cookie dough had no. been frozen. So I said to him, we're gonna do that. We're gonna go in there, and we're gonna make like three different cookie doughs. We're gonna freeze those babies up. And when he has a craving for cookies, like he does all the time, I can bring those out. Mm -hmm. So those have been really, really good. The other really thing great. you, uh, mm -hmm. that you cooked frozen the other night were I'm not a big fan of Brussels sprouts, but she yes. took some frozen Brussels sprouts and followed a recipe she had to cook those. Those were phenomenal. They were so good. And that's what's so neat about frozen vegetables because, you know, I don't have a lot of appetite, so I'll buy all these fresh vegetables and, you know. And we'll, we end up tossing some of them out. So this frozen, you know, they're very uh, well, uh, the vitamins and all that, they come right from the field and they get processed. So you're actually probably getting fresher food that way than frozen or been fresh. Thank you. And those Brussels sprouts, now they were on sale at the store, but I now know I don't need to buy them fresh because they were really good. Oh. All right, moving on. That's enough of that. Movies. Yeah. 
Uh, yeah, we saw the Hunger Games again. We yeah, watched we that. watched the Hunger Games series just because we didn't remember it. Of course, no. we we probably forgot much of what we just watched, so we don't remember much. Oh, I see. Just in general, yeah. I mean, yeah. Uh, so we saw the Hunger Games, and really, we were trying to think of the other things. We've been watching. Oh, I'll tell you, if you have a chance to see the uh, the hotel one, the beach one. The hotel. Oh, Seaside Hotel. Oh my gosh! If you can see Seaside Hotel it's on uh, PBS Masterpiece, I think uh, it is Masterpiece. It well, we loved it. It's a very enjoyable series. It's it's subtitled, uh, right? Oh yeah, because it's in uh, Danish, Dutch, Danish, Danish, I Danish, think, Danish, or Dutch. I'm not sure. Well, it's, Norwe- it's Danish. Norwegian. No, no, it's not Norwegian. It's Danish. Anyway, I like Danish. Doesn't matter. And it's very good, and it's really long. So there's a lot of episodes if you need to, like, power watch something, you know, do some uh, binging. There's a lot of Hotel Portofino. Mm, Portofino was was very good. Yeah, we like series. We like hotel. Yeah, we don't go to Hotel (laughs) Rwanda, Hotel Mumbai. uh. So we started to watch, there's a week worth of free movies on Free HBO Max? Yeah. And Elvis, the new Elvis movie is out, which really we didn't know a whole lot about other than it was about Elvis. And we started to watch it last night. It's got Tom Hanks in it, which he it looks very good. They've done a nice job with him. Amazing makeup. But we just... I, we, we just didn't care. You know, and yeah. that's... I mean, it might have been the day or whatever. We've done that before, you know, the, the first time we went to this little uh, town up on the northern tip of... Uh, uh, Vancouver Island, uh, Port Hardy. We hated okay. it. We couldn't get out of there fast enough. Now we love it. We yeah. love to go back there and take the whale watching trips. And it's just beautiful. It's timing. Watch the eagles. Yeah. It's time. So it's just timing and how you feel on a particular day. And finally, I mean, this is kind of a silly one, but you know, I see a lot of people who do this day in the life. You know, they, they show themselves cleaning or they show themselves cooking or they show themselves whatever. And I'm kind of thinking about maybe doing one of those. What do you think? It, it, do you even like that kind of thing? You know, it's like shorts. I hate shorts. I won't do shorts. But I'm wearing shorts. So. <laughs> I'm sorry. But I'm wondering, what do you think of that idea? That, you know, kind of see how it rolls. I, I mean, I hit it around the camera. It's not like a big deal. What do you think? Let me know about that. Okay, that's it. That's it. We're done here. Yeah. You don't want to mention your minimalist friend. Oh, no. Whatever. Okay. I mean, really, whatever. Uh, Any parting thoughts? I don't know. I probably had some, but forgot them. That's how it is. That's how we roll. Yeah. (laughs) Well, we are so glad that you're here visiting with us. And we're happy that we're getting getting back in the saddle again. I'm not promising anything, but you will see a little more of us. But you know what? We are so glad, here it comes, that you are on this crazy ride with us that we call... Life? Life! He's got it now! Okay, everybody, thanks a lot for watching. We will see you next time. Have a great weekend, and thanks a lot. Take care now. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.